it's Jules and welcome to another video. This is a late video. Yeah, I was very intimidated by doing this video. For it's been two months for oh for this video already. I should have done it two um at least a month a uh, month and a half ago at least, but um or at least a month ago should have done it. But anyways, yeah. This is my <laughs> December TBR slash wrap up video. My TBR, I had like um, lots of books. I can't remember half of my TBR of what I did now at this point because it got kind of crazy that month because <laughs> I end up reading quite a few, which I'm very impressed with. Um, I'll give you guys a couple seconds to. Figure out how many books I read while I get to the page of books that I read. You guys ready? Got the number you guys think is? Oh, drum or knock on the wood. <laughs> Roll, I guess. I did 41 books. 41! I was amazed when I literally counted all the books I read in December. I literally, <laughs> I literally had to just go wow. And I was very proud of myself. I had to jump for joy that I managed to read that much. Yeah, first time ever. The most I ever usually read in a month was, if I was lucky, eight. And one month, like, I think the year before in October, December, sometime I read 17. I think that, that was impressive. But 41, oh, double wow. <laughs> so, I'm going to just jump right into this since it is so many books to go through. My first book I actually read, I actually own, which is A Marriage in Wyoming by Lynette Kenton. I gave this book, I believe, five stars. Oh my god, this was so cute and it just made my day. I know this ain't winter like related, but it got me out of a slump because at that time I was in kind of a yeah, kind of not wanting to read slump. So, yeah. I was thankful I read this. I managed to read this in like two, three days. And it was so adorable, so romantic, and cute. It was like just perfect at the time. It helped me get out of it. And I got back into the reading. And that's how I managed to read 41 books that month. So, it was a very, very amazing month. So, yeah. So that's the only book I have of all 41 books that I own, all the rest of them. Um, well, I owned these other books on my phone for a while because I actually read all these books on my phone. I don't have them anymore. I removed them from my library so I can get more ebooks. Um, I'm not full find of ebooks. But when I get in a slump or um, I'm not able to read physical books, I actually kind of like to have it, especially when um, I forget my book. And it kind of makes the waiting period, if I'm waiting for an appointment or something, it helps me do something then. So that's why ebooks are kind of nice to still have, even though not many people. Um, like ebooks, but it's getting out there more as time goes on. I don't mind them. I still prefer physical books and probably audio books every now, um, now and then. Those are the two because you can get both of those from the library after rent out. Um, so those be the top two, but I like to read an ebook, squeeze in every now and then. So. So yeah, these are rest of them are all ebooks, I believe that I read. Let me skim through, but yeah, I think they're all ebooks. 
Yep, they're all ebooks except for one other one, which, yeah, I do own, but I'm not sure where it's at right now. So, yeah, I'm not going to go grab it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now I'll get to... Um, I'm not going to put these in any specific order, so I'll go ahead and say the other book I own is Red Fox and Winter by Jeanette Craig. It's just a little kid's book. It was actually the last book I read um, for 2016, and I really enjoyed it. It was actually really cute. It wasn't the book I wanted to read last, but that's just how it ended, so yeah. Um, definitely believe I gave that four or five stars as well, because it was really cute. Um, it was actually a reread. Now, the next set I'm going to mention really quickly is I did read, like, 20 adult books. They were comic books. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about those, um, books. And... If you want to know about those books and um, why read, you can always um, send me a tweet or whatever because they are adult books. So, yeah. Um, the next book I'm going to mention is um, Smoothie Recipes. Um, the best smoothies, um, recipes for increased energy, weight loss, cleansing, and more by Anthony and out. I loved this book actually. It was short but it was um, very good because I'm eating healthier and I love smoothies. So yeah, I kind of um, read it and also skimmed it. So, um, but still read it enough because it's not that many pages anyway and um, I end up making it up for skimming that one because there was another book I had that's actually three books in one. So, yeah. Anyways, I believe I gave that four or five stars because some really good recipes are in there. Totally. Um, next on my list here in my notebook, um, I read Scooby-Doo Team Up Number 1 by... Shawley Fish Finch. Um, this was cute. I love Scooby Doo, so I I thought it was adorable. I think I gave it like a four star. The next book, three books, were joke books. One was LOL jokes by Jack Jokes, um, and I'll hopefully be a disclaimer real quick. I'm gonna try to get um photos up here of the books on the video. If I can't, I'm sorry. I'm still working on it. So, um, and then next is another adult book, but uh, adult jokes. Um, and it's by many authors. So, and then another joke book, 101 best jokes ever by also tons of authors. It didn't tell me because it was an ebook, it didn't really tell me. So, if you guys um, really want to know, I could always give you guys um, the actual like image of it or whatever. Look, or you look on Google Play for the joke books, and you probably could find it. Um, the best jokes ever. LOL jokes by Jack Jokes. And the next book I read was Strawberry Shortcake, A Big Berry Anniversary by George Ball. Um, I really thought that was adorable. It was cute. I believe I gave it four stars. Harlem Comics Volume 1 is by Leo. Also, same person that did, I think, the adult comics I mentioned. Um, next book, uh, books are, give me a second, well, next one, Mail for Sale by Tiffany White. This is a romance book. Um, it's a romance comic book, I believe. Um, it was really cute, but it left you hanging. So I gave it four stars, I believe. Um, but very cute. 
Then next, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Sister, Plant vs. Zombie, and um, Bennett, um, Yen, and Bennett by Jean Luan Yang. I probably didn't say the author's name right, but, and that's like three books, three short books in one. I love Avatar. I love, I used to um, watch that when I cable. I can't right now. No cables, so I really enjoyed reading that. I believe I gave um that collection four stars. Next book is another like love comic book, Desert King, Pregnant Mistress by Susan Stevens. This one was really interesting but left you hanging a little bit. So I don't know if there's more or not. So kind of left you hanging. Ah, cute dog. Just peeked out my window and saw a doggy. Um, next, it's another romance. Ready for Romance by Mayo Carino. So hard to remember to announce these um, last names. Um, I believe this is a comic too. These are all like comic versions. So very, very cute. But a lot of them left me hanging. So a lot of them I think I only gave four stars. So I believe that four stars. The next one's another romance one. Husband 101 by Joe Lay. Cute, but I believe left hanging. <laughs> um, but still enjoyed all these. Next is another comic book. Um, pretty much all. Um, well, this one's a comic book still. Robin Hood Volume 1 by Patrick Shan. This is kind of an adult comic book. But it was very good, and it was just the first, number one, volume one. I believe I gave it four or five stars, can't remember. The next two are by Mary Hiker. The first book is Avery Meets Chevy, and then Christmas Park. I loved these books. I believe I gave both these books four or five stars. I really, really loved Avery Meets Chevy. It was so cute. It was so, it was just adorable. Um, I really enjoyed reading it, even though it was short, but I would actually read it again, even though it's really short. Christmas Party was also adorable and just very cute. And I believe both of those go together, if I remember correctly, but I can't, not sure. Next is Message in a Bulb by H.Y. Hannah. This one was really, really adorable as well it was really funny as well too um it's called in a ball because they find a note in a christmas ball so that's pretty much the storyline of this short story um and it was all around just very um basically all i can say i know i keep saying this throughout this video cute so next a another adult book I read to me it's kind of adult so um and so I'm not gonna say much about that one either because it's a very adult um if you would like to know you get and tweet me and ask me I can let you guys know. Um, I can up I put all my books I've read um, best I can down in the description below. Um, if I am unable to, I'll definitely have the list most likely tweeted so you can see on there. Um, next, I have. Another one, this one's an actually an LGBT book, and it's by A. A. Anders. It's a prequel, um, and I gave this book five stars. Um, it's, yeah, very detailed, very adult as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll mention that title along with the rest of them. And then Secret Baby Revenge by Emma Darcy is a romance type of book. I believe it was a comic. Another cute one. 
And pretty much that is all 41 books. And like I said, I'll make sh sure to put a list either in the description or I'll have a f um, Photoshop or a photo or um, or it listed on Twitter and I'll put down there my Twitter name if you guys so you guys can find me and look it up and you guys can look through the list and check out the books that you want to check out so but that is we're gonna just set that down there that is it for this lovely December TBR slash wrap up video I hope this video was enjoyable and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.